Hi everybody, this is Dan of MoreRoadStuff.com and I have a package opening video here for you. Something we talked about uh, about four months ago, maybe five months ago, four months ago at on the Collector's Catacomb and uh, uh, which is a, a YouTube uh, channel. Let's see, the channel name is actually Tinker's Row, Tinker's Row Relics and uh, we do a weekly, actually bi-weekly now, uh, show uh, just about collecting, um, mostly. Uh, we are all pickers on the show, and we go out and find things, and so uh, we uh, all are collectors also. So we talk more about our collections and stuff. But anyhow, I got this box in the mail. I have been waiting for this for four months, and since July, about the middle of July. And uh, I'm going to open it for you and show you what it is. I actually almost forgot about it until I got the UPS thing on my door where they attempted to deliver it and I I kind of hate that and I'm always like reluctant to go pick stuff up because sometimes it's junk mail but uh, it didn't say where it was from or anything so I had to go over to the UPS um, distribution center which is about 20 miles from me <laughs> and uh, pick it up but I'm so happy once I saw the address because then I knew exactly what it was so um, what it is are two comic books. I sent uh, my two, I had two number one Marvel 1977 uh, Star Wars comic books to CGC, the, the grading company that does grading and they slab it. And uh, <clears throat> I took it to Comic Con actually and gave it to them at their booth at Comic Con. So I didn't have to pay, it saved me a little bit of money, I didn't have to pay shipping to Florida, because this is what's where they're at in Florida. So um, uh, I showed, I, I talked about those on our show. Uh, what I don't know, and what the real surprise is here, is I don't know what they were graded at. I don't know what what level of grading it is. So this could be good, <laughs> this could be bad. I have my hopes where I'd hope it to go, where I think it they might be. So let's open these up. And we're all going to find out together. So if I start crying at the end of this video, please excuse me. All right, so here we are. They actually packed them very well. All right. Okay, so there's two in here. Reveal number one. The first one, an 8-0. All right. All right, that's good. I'm happy. I was hoping it would be... A nine. I hope that I was kind of hoping they'd hit a eight and a half to a nine. Um, get a little bit of glare here. Let's try to get the get this off. Let me take it out of the plastic. So yeah, this was graded uh, eight point oh. Guy was hoping it would have been a little better. Um, you see, there's the it's certified. It's got the number. Nice plastic case and uh, I'll have to go online and look at the report uh, they actually have a, the report online to see kind of what they what they considered you know that gets a rough idea of what they uh, how they graded it um, but okay that's not too bad I don't know, waiting the, the, the weight was kind of driving me crazy so that's uh, comic book number one Let's hope the other one, the other one actually, I wouldn't be surprised if it came out to exactly the same because it seemed to be about the same level. Oh my gosh, it's even worse. This is 6.5. That came out 6.5. Now that's really weird. But I think, uh, I'll have to go read the report. I'm, I'm guessing that there were some creases in the seam right here. And uh, so it actually is pretty good that this one came out. Um, I got... I've had, I got two of these. I believe this is the one, the the one that I thought was a little better. Which, yeah, I see the crease, I see the little cr cracks in the in the binding right there. There's little little nicks in the binding that lowered it big time. Um, there's no yellowing. Oh, it looks like there's some marks on the back too. I couldn't remember. It's been four months since I've looked at these, but uh, this one, the binding is good. This one came in a set I originally bought. I have the whole, I have a complete set that I bought back in the 90s 
Uh, I actually bought it on eBay. I bought all 107 plus the annuals and some of the other extras of Star Wars, all from the series. From you know, uh, they started printing them in '77, I believe, and um, all the way through, all the movies were completed. But um, all right, well, that's interesting. Let me uh, move this around. So there we go. Add to my collection. I'm purchasing some wall mounts to mount these on for display. And uh, we'll be uh, displaying these. And who knows, down the road, I might sell one of them. We're gonna, kind of going to see what the market's like when the movie comes out. And kind of, I've been watching these things and seeing how they go. But uh, I might try to sell one of them. I have some others that I'm sending. Uh, I'm going to send off. I wanted to send a couple off and see kind of the process, but they're, they're backlog big time. Um, almost anything, any modern comic you send them, they told me they're at least four to five months in finishing. So um, you have to wait a little while. And this is considered modern from the 70s and on is considered modern. So anyhow, well, thanks for watching. Just a quick video, show a little bit of an unveiling here on my uh, Star Wars comic books that I've, they got back slabbed. All right. See you guys the next time around. Got some plans for some other videos coming up. And um, uh, hope you subscribe to my channel and uh, keep in touch. All right, talk to you later. Bye.